Yeah, you didn't expect me to start chatting in names, so did you, look a pussy? But anyway, you can see uh, Kyushin Esports. I talked about it like a week ago, but they're hosting a tournament, a $100 tournament on the 18th of April, which is very soon. Um, you can still sign up. $100, no top 8 players are allowed, so you have a chance. Well, if you've ever been top 8, like ever been top 8 in a major tourney, you're not allowed. Community tourneys don't count, obviously. In an actual tourney, if you've been top 8, you're not allowed in a tournament. So, you lot have a chance. Go sign up. The link is in the description. 18th, 18th of April. Yeah, that's the one. Um, yeah, sign up. I made a couple of these videos now talking about like how to beat a certain weapon and I said the next one I'd do with, uh, with the axe. So I thought it's about time I'd get around to doing that. I'm still working on other things to the unarmed guide, which will um, come soon, I guess. Maybe, I don't know, hopefully. But uh, yeah, so I thought I'd do a little, uh, just talk about uh, the ways I think, you know, the, or the ways I use personally to, to go about beating axe. And to be honest, I don't ever like, find axe hard to play against some people do um some people find axe hard to play like i think it just depends a lot on the person um and the, your play style but yeah so i'll talk about that um but before we get into it um <laughs> i missed a single day of uploading which was thursday i think it was i think it was thursday uh my channel was doing the best it's ever done missed one day of uploading and now it's like like horrendous like uh, youtube is YouTube's YouTube, um, so if you want to help me out, support the channel, then consider subscribing. Um, I don't know, maybe Susan will appreciate that, but yeah, so X. Uh, I think the thing you have to take advantage of most against X is just how slow the weapon is. Like, There's a lot on X that is just like, it's easy to deal with because of how slow the weapon is. Like, uh, one of the things, for example, uh, I'd say is the fact that like, I mean, not everybody has quick enough reaction times. But if your reaction times are like decently fast, then you can just react to a lot of stuff on um, on X. Like in your brain, right? If you're like thinking of something, then it's a lot easier to react to. Like if you know it's coming, rather than if it's like completely random. And I think I mean that's obvious, but it goes for like most things in this game, right? If you're, for example, lost up red, and someone is on X, the only way they can kill is with Sir. Uh, like, yeah, they can kill with recovery or maybe even D-Light if you're that damaged. But in your mind, you're going to be thinking, okay, they're going to be looking for a Sir. And that makes it so much easier to react to a Sir and dodge it. And like, obviously, it'd be dumb for me to come on here and be like, ah, oh, this is how you beat X. Just dodge. <laughs> but like, a lot of things like, there is really, what's the word, projected. Like, it's obvious when someone's, you know, doing this and jumping and doing all this and then to just land on you with there like if they're just doing this their game plan is really obvious and like you know what they want right and literally all they want is a there if they're doing that and i think it's pretty obvious he's gonna do it no i thought you do it and it's like oh i might be dead though i didn't have a dodge oh my this guy's been really weird actually i don't know what to do i don't know what to do. he's insane but um yeah like for example now i can't kill because i'm just looking for sir and he's avoiding it but there we go like, it, it just everything an axe player wants to do is obvious, I think, anyway. Um, and obviously that just comes to playtime and like playing the game enough to, to realize, like, you know, I'm playing against enough axe players to realize that, you know, when they're hovering like that, they want to dare and they're just doing this. Um, they're just going to do a dare. And like, if this guy knew that, all he has to do is just spot dodge. And then because of, like, the amount of, um, I was going to say active frames, the amount of end lag axe has, like you can punish easily like after your spot is up sometimes right on some weapons if you whiff an attack um and like you know someone spot dodges it you can throw out another attack which will catch this catch a spot dodge uh, on like really quick low end like weapons like katars are a really good example they can miss a move you can spot dodge it so it's like not them missing but you can spot dodge a move on katars and they can throw out like an end light or something and it just comes out so quick and the other move ends so quick that like it you know you could just say it doesn't matter whether you perfect dodge anything you're gonna get punished for playing well um, and that's why a lot of people feel like you know katars already broken it is it's just hard to play against like that but axe if you spot dodge your move on axe you'll be able to get a punish a hundred percent of the time unless you're just slow like <laughs> unless you're just too slow throwing your move out after you know your dodge is up you'll be able to he's gonna end sig yeah oh okay that was quite that was quite scary actually hold on watch me watch me lose this game Watch me choke. Never my. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay. 
Hold on. Hold on. One more will do it. Oh, oh. Okay, I actually might lose. I actually... Wait, hold on. He didn't answer that. What? What are these options? Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, I'm, I'm losing. Okay. Yeah, decent. Okay. Okay. I saw that one. And now I'm on axe. So I just have to fish extremely hard for a set. Um, which I might not get. There? No? Oh my days. Oh, that killed. But, uh, yeah, like, on some weapons, if you... Like, if your de defensive game plan against them is just a spot dodge, and, like, perfect dodge all their attacks and punish, that, you know, like, you can be in disadvantage state for perfect dodging in, on some weapons, like katars, for example. So, yeah, on some weapons, that just doesn't work. But Axe isn't one of them. On Axe, it, it's, like, really viable to just try and... Try and predict when they're gonna attack, and like if it's obvious, because obviously some Axe players and like better Axe players will mix up their game, and it won't be obvious. Like they won't be just jumping seven times and throwing out a dare. It'll be a bit more, you know, it'll be a bit less, a bit less brain dead than that. So in that case, you just dodge in against life. That is something. Um, oh, I meant to dare. Anyway, oh yeah, dead. Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, like Axe, you can just spot dodge moves and be okay and it, like i said it's a really projected weapon it's pretty obvious and most players keep in mind uh, especially like if you clicked on this video if you clicked on this video then you know you're probably not like at the point where people are just insane on axe because i mean what's my peak like 2200 and axe players in rank still just are really obvious with the dares and do stuff like this and then land with there and it's it, it's just obvious what they're gonna do and if you spot dodge it then that's a free punish and yeah it's it can get really easy to beat some axe players but yeah so that's 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 i mean the first tip right um because like i said i couldn't just come on here and be like oh yeah my entire advice is just dodge forehead like there's <laughs> there's obviously more than that um but i think another thing that's important and it's kind of along the same path as that where it's like you know axe is a really obvious um, obvious weapon and like the things axe players are going to do are pretty obvious um is that okay he doesn't jump there okay uh, well imagine that hit oh he's actually he's dead never mind i'm awful <laughs> but um nice ground pound but um yeah so like considering that the weapon is really projected and it's really like obvious what people are going to do it goes times 10 for trying to kill on the weapon right um and a lot of weapons can build damage really easy and struggle to kill guitars are an example of that but i mean not that much of an example because like they're, you know, like, they have, you know, Sair and stuff like that. It's like, they have a lot of options, right? They have Recovery, which can kill. Um, and I think, you know, Katar's Recovery, it hits Grounded, right? Like, it's a lot easier than uh, Axe Recovery to kill. Um, and then they have, like, Sair. They have, you know, offstage games with, like, Nair and stuff like that. They just, they have a lot of options to kill with. Axe, all it has is Sair. That is the only option. That's the only kill option on the whole weapon, right? d -light at a high enough health will kill. Like, don't get me wrong. And recovery will also kill. But how damaged you have to be to, to die from a d -light? And, you know, how high in the air do you have to be to die from a recovery? Unless it's like, like that over the edge. But, you know, it, it just... This weapon can get really hard to kill with because Sa is like the only real option. And Sa is in... Because it's the only option, you know, you can just take advantage of that and just avoid sir because like i said like your brain you know if you if you know that something's gonna come you can react to it so much quicker so you could dodge a sir right but you can also just play out of the range of sir because like i said pretty much every single move on axis is um reactable you could just react to everything else and then you know just play out of the range of sir and like you should be good to go um also i've just kind of been talking about axe and started losing this game which is something um i probably should stop doing that oh my de what? demon Never mind. <laughs> the only move on axe i'd say you can't react to is end light so if you j just like it's obviously hard to say that you just don't find yourself stacked with uh, axe but if you try not to be stacked with the weapon um then you can react to like if you just play out of the range of end light then you know everything else on the on the weapon like you can just kind of react to right um, so, you know, as if, like, if, for example, if Endlight didn't exist as a move, Axe would be so easy to play against. 
Like, that's the only move that they can throw out, and, like, it can be, like, a surprise. Everything else is, is obvious, right? Um, and especially, you know, when they're trying to kill with Sarah. Like, that's the most obvious. So, play out of the range of, um, of Enlight at, like, lower health, and then at higher health, just, just play out of the range of Sarah. And, like, even though, because a lot of the reason Axe will feel, like, just broken and brain dead is because... They'll hit a couple moves, literally like like a couple strings, a, one read even, and you'll be in like red health, and then you'll be like, okay, why does this weapon, how can it build damage so quickly, and you know not be broken? Like you can see here, I'm I'm literally hitting a couple moves, uh, and he's he, he's like one hit away from orange already, and I barely touched him, right? And you can think like, okay, he's, he's spot dodging there, he's, he's you know it's proving that it's proving my point at least, bit of validation for me. Um, but like, yeah, you can see he's already red, right? And it, it's just, it can feel really dumb. But at the end of the day, none of that matters if you can't actually get a kill with the weapon, right? And it, that's what you need to keep in mind. Like instead of like losing your mental, right? I'm not getting clipped like that. No, 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 thank you. And instead of losing your mental, just literally realize that they still have to kill. Like whether or not I'm in red after, <laughs> after like wasting my dodge once, they still have to actually kill with that. Like, it's useless otherwise. Because I can just keep building damage and I can end the stock first. And then I'm in the lead. Even though I was you know, an entire stock deficit. It's, I don't know, it's, it's just stuff like that. You need to keep in mind. And then, you know, you, you can just turn around. Like, it can feel like you've just turned around the game completely. Because they can't kill and you just keep building damage and keep building damage. Kind of like this guy now. But I mean, he's not playing Axe. He's just, he just can't, he just can't kill me. But like, this is how every single Axe player feels, trust me. Like, every weapon has a struggle, even though like, for you, you know, playing against a weapon and never having touched a weapon yourself, or never having like, really, really played the weapon like that yourself. Um, because I'm sure everyone's touched Axe at some point or another. But, dodge down. Oh, no, well, okay, but imagine, um, I like, just, just imagine I wasn't awful at the game, that would've been, that would've been quite clean. But, um, like, every weapon has a struggle, and like, if you ever speak to an Axe main, right, they're going to tell you Axe is the worst weapon in the game because they can't kill with, you know, anything. Like, they can't take stocks and, you know, it's just the weapon's predictable and reactable and slow. But, they, I mean, they don't talk about the good sides. And there's a lot of, like, upside to Axe, right? How, like, how easy it is to get a lot of damage off of reads and how easy it is to get those reads. And even without reads, you can still get a lot of damage, right? And to kill... You can still hit, like, um, you know, like, side like that is a true combo. It's just a very niche true combo. Like, it doesn't work that well um, compared to, like, every other like, true combo in the game. Because you have to hit it at a really certain angle for it to be true. Or else it just isn't true. So, it doesn't, uh, does, uh it's dead, okay. But, yeah, like I was saying, like, you have to hit side light at, like, a really close, you know, like, you have to hit it close. For it to be true to set so it's just not consistent and like, a lot of the time it's not worth going for um just because like like you just don't know if it's going to be true or not right i mean so i guess i guess it's worth going for you know just in case you know, so there's always the chance that you can finally get that kill that you've been looking for for half an hour but still it's kind of a lot of the time you'll just want to take the guaranteed damage in in there uh rather than you know gamble that your side light was close enough for it to true combo to set like that's the problems that axe have and you just need to take advantage of them, right? And then you should, you should find yourself having a lot easier of a time. Like you just need to play against Axe different than you would a lot of weapons. Like, and I think it goes for most the heavy weapons. Like Lance is another one, and I think a lot of the tips that I'm giving on on Axe right now apply for Lance too. Like, there's no true kill confirm anymore because obviously side light recovery doesn't exist um, anymore. That sick is insane. Um, and also like. You can just spot dodge a lot of the moves and they're really projected. Like Lance says, it's, it's quite obvious when someone's going to go for it. And the, the Nair too, like, it, it's obvious when someone's going to go for that. So, it, it's just, it's an archetype. Like, you need to adapt to different weapons when you play them. Um, for example, you can't play against like, heavy weapons the same way you play against Scythe and Katars and Sword. You just need to play against weapons differently. Um, or else, uh, oh, that would have actually hit as well. Um, or else you're going to get completely bodied. Like, if you try and, you know, play all spot dodgy and reacting to Katars and stuff like that, yeah, it's not... You're going to get destroyed. 
Um, but then if you try playing, you know, really like, I, I guess, I don't really know. I, it's not really an opposite to this play style, um, but you know what I'm trying to say. Like, you should just play different against different weapons. And uh, you should be, you should be good to go. Oh, that is, that is an end sync to my forehead. Um, but I think that's basically everything I want to talk about. Uh, I think, I think I've, I've at least given you three tips, uh, and that's the title of the video. So we've gotten away with it. Uh, I just, I feel like everything else is just basic stuff, like you know, just mix up your dodges. But that just goes for every weapon. I'm just trying to give you tips for specifically, specifically axe, right? Uh, will this kill? Oh wow, that actually killed. Okay, this legend, by the way, is I don't I don't know like you don't see Volko very much, um, but for my days is it is a fun legend. Oh, <laughs> it's a really broken. It's it's a sleeper, so I, I don't know. People need to people need to realize that this legend's tab because it has this sig and also these all the side sigs are just insane actually oh wow that's quite don't can't just um but yeah like you can see here katar's like what he's building all this damage but it will mean nothing when he can't kill like like <laughs> i'm in dark red right now all he has to do is kill but he can't it's literally he needs a sir or a recovery if i just play out of that range there's nothing he can do i mean he has sword now um so he can hit a D-Light or a Sair or a Grounded Recovery. Like, there's a lot more options on a weapon like Sword than there are on a weapon like Katars. But, yeah, I think, I think that's the game. It's, it's done now. Oh, never mind. Um, oh, <laughs> I'm insane. I'm actually just cracked. But, I mean, at least he says Katars now, so I can carry on. I just, oh, I just wanted to show off something. Okay. He's just trying to weapon starve. I I'm actually going to let him pick up Katars so I can show you how easy it is to avoid these, these kill moves. He's not, you're not going to hit me into the mine. Oh my days. I'm trying to show off. Uh, fine. Just, just lose the game then. Just, you know, I... what is he doing? Nice. Oh, he's insane. Hold on. Like, he just has to sink here. Unless he throws his weapon again. Oh my, okay. I can't be bothered anymore. No. He, he, Please, please, stop. Stop throwing the weapon. It's literally, it's not gonna work. How long is this game going on now? I think, well, I mean, that's it, right? No, this is a, I can't do maths. What's like eight, it's like a five minute game, an experimental. Yeah, that's, it's about time. Anyway, I hope you lot have enjoyed. <laughs> hope you lot have learned something. You know, if you did, subscribe, like the video, all that stuff. Helps me out a lot and, um. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one. No idea what that'll be, but hopefully, hopefully I'll get on the Anon Guide soon. I, I really want to get it out, but we'll, we'll see. <laughs> Have a great day. Peace.